Orioles go. Visiting with uh, Kemper goalkeeper Josh Aarons after a shutout here tonight. Uh, you guys get the victory in overtime 1-0. Uh, early on, there seemed to be maybe a few broke plays that got a little pressure on you there in the goal, but yeah. you guys were able to hold out. How important was that early? It was uh, very important. Uh, we, ha we haven't had the best start to our season, but um, our confidence and we just didn't really need this motivation boost. So I think that's what really drove us in overtime to, Talk fi to finally get the goal. Talk about the defense uh, in front of you when they did kind of find ways to get the ball. I know the offense did a good job keeping the ball on the other end, but you did have to face a few shots tonight. Yeah. Um, our defense, mainly, we just needed to get it up to our mids and then the mids to the forward and just get some shot, as many shots on goal as we could. So, yeah. Well, I know that you guys have uh, battled through a few of these close ones. How good is it to come out of this one with a win, especially against a team that kind of snuck a goal past you earlier this season? It's really good. Um, that goal that they got past me earlier just drained my confidence, but um, getting that goal in overtime just really boosted my on um, confidence, very good. What are some of the hardest things of being in the goal uh, with these guys? Um, probably pressure, mostly. Like every goal, every goal he faces pressure, no matter what they say. And but I've learned to trust my defense more, and um, trust my um, offense, and it just really helps me um, be a better goalie for the team. All right, congratulations on the win, and thanks. Thank you. Uh, Got Cooper Canny with us, scored the winning goal here tonight uh, in overtime. Cooper, uh, break that goal down a little bit. How did you get out in front and be able to attack like that? Uh, well, we were pressuring them all all overtime and stuff, and we were, we were possessing it well. We got a couple of shots, and then uh, Buzz got it, and he just sent a perfect through ball to me. And it was there all game and stuff, and, and we had our chances with those through balls, but we just didn't capitalize, and Buzz's was just perfect right there, and I just hit it in. Now you guys had quite a few opportunities offensively. You kind of got the ball to the center, uh, got it right where you guys needed it to in the offense. Some yeah. missed kicks on that. Uh, uh, how do you guys improve on that and get it so maybe you don't have to play that extra period? Uh, it's just our touches. We just got to work on our touches a lot better, you know, and, and talk. Uh, you know, if, if you're going forward, you know, and you have someone to drop to that had, would have an open goal to. So just talking it and just getting a better touch, really, and maybe a better pass the on to the ground and stuff in the air and it'll, it'll work out. Did you guys have a solid game plan uh, going in against these guys since you saw them once already? Yeah, uh, I was gone for that tournament, but these guys knew what to do and everything. So, uh, yeah, we just wanted to keep the pressure forward. We knew we knew we could get past their uh, defense. We knew we knew our speed and our athleticism. athleticism. So we just wanted to, we just wanted to be, just use that and uh, beat them and score goals. How does Kemper Soccer improve on this win and keep getting victories? Uh, we just gotta keep going with it. This was this was a huge boost for our program after losing a lot in in, uh, in the beginning, but now we're on two game win streak. So we just gotta keep working hard every day, just working on things that we need to in practice, and uh, and we're all really excited now. This is a good stretch in the year, and so just keep improving from here. Cooper, congratulations on the win, and thanks. Thank you.